For number four, we are told one long wire lies along an x-axis and carries a current of 47 amps in the positive x direction. A second long wire is perpendicular to the xy plane, passes through the point 0, 0,6.6 .6 meters 0, and carries a current of 48 amps in the positive z direction. We're asked what is the magnitude of the resulting magnetic field at the point 0, 0, 0.4 meters, 0. In solving this problem, we are going to look at a few things. First, we notice that we have an xy plane, but we also have the mention of z. So we need to make an xyz plane. We are going to have our y in this direction, our x in this direction, and our z in this direction. First, we are told that we have one long wire along the x-axis, which carries a current of 47 amps in the positive x direction. Looking at this first wire, we are going to see that it comes this way along our x-axis, the positive direction, which is this way, and it is I that is equal to 47 amps. We have a second long wire and is perpendicular to the xy plane, and it passes through this point. We are given this point specifically. This is our x, y, and z. So at 6.6 .6 meters above our axis, we can mark that as like right here, we are going to have our next wire. It is perpendicular to the xy plane, meaning that if we draw it like this, it is going to form a 90 degree angle right here. Our first wire we can mark as I of 1, and our second is going to be I of 2, and our I of 2 carries the current of 48 amps. The distance between here and here is 6.6 .6 meters, and we are asked to find the magnetic field at exactly the point here. So to do this, we have to mark this point. If this is if this whole region right here is 6.6 .6 meters, then about here to here is going to be 1.4 meters. And the rest of it, we can say is 5.2 meters, which adds up to be 6.6 .6 meters. We can write that like this and get rid of this in here. It's important to draw the graph that way we can see exactly what we are doing. Now we need to find the magnitude. So we are going to use this formula. B net is equal to the square root of our B1 plus B2. And both of our Bs are going to be squared. Normally, if we were to solve this for our B net as we have done in the past, it would just be b is b net is equal to b1 plus b2. However, since we are given exact x, y, z directions, we have to use this formula to find the magnitude. A single b is just equal to the constant u naught times the current divided by 2 pi r. If we write these in together, we are going to get a larger formula. In here, after we put this into here and here, we are going to get this. From here, we can factor out our constants to make this equation smaller. We know that our u naught is a constant, so we can square that for both and then square root it, which is just going to leave us with a u naught. If we do the same thing for our current in our 2 pi, we are just going to have this out front. And in our square root, we are going to have 1 over r1. This should be r1, and this is our r2. And this is going to be squared plus 1 over r2, which is also going to be squared. I did forget that we actually have two different currents. So that means we are going to have a i1 and an i2 as well. So that means since these are different, it cannot be factored out. This i cannot be factored out, and only our u naught is going to be factored out on the top. And in here, we are going to have an i1 and an i2. Now we can begin to start plugging in our values. 
we have our b of n, and that's going to equal our u naught, which is 4 pi times 10 to the negative 7 tesla meters over amps, and this is constant. We're having this over 2 pi, and we can actually cancel this pi and get rid of this 2 and write this as 2. Inside of our square root, we are going to have I1, which is 47 amps, over R1. And our R1, because we have these different distances, the R1 that's associated with I1 is going to be 1.4 meters. And the 5.2 meters is going to be associated with R2. Now that we know this, we can fill in our R1 to be 1.4 meters, and this is squared, plus our other current, which is, 4 point, or which is 48 amps over 5.2 meters, and this is also squared. After we carefully plug all of this into a calculator, we are going to get that our magnitude, B of n, is equal to approximately 7 teslas.